I think you're you're muted, Becky. Hi. This is my second time to speech about this topic. Have you ever wondered why the communication feels so complicated? That's because it's more than just words. Research shows that 55% of our communication is nonverbal. That means our body talks by subtle movement of our hands, face, or other part of the body. The, ma the, how, the mastering the art of the reading body language is like decoding a secret code. It allows you to truly understand why people are thinking or feeling even when their words may say something different. Then how good are you at decoding these silence cues? Let us find out. Let me change it. I don't know. Okay. okay. Let us look at the first picture. The left hand side man is putting the finger on his chin and kind of frowning. This man shows he is thinking or evaluating. The right hand side man is putting his hands on his chin and kind of look somewhere else. This man shows he is bored. How about this one? Point the finger to others. That means man, this man thinks he's right. He's better than others. He complaining others. He's kind of aggressive attitude, gesture as well. Let us look at next girl. This girl is putting the finger on the, on the side of her face and look down somewhere, and she doesn't look at the people. This girl has a lack of self-confidence gesture. Let us try two more. Here, the left hand side man is crossing his arms together. This shows the self-protective or defensive. The right hand side man is putting his hands on his hip. This shows he is control or aggressive. Have you ever used or seen this gesture? I bet you are. However, those gestures I just show you are not appropriate for public speech. If we can use some appropriate body language in our speech, then we can have a better speech. Here are some tips. The first one is have a positive posture. Sit or stand tight and straight. Do not put your hands in your pocket or slouch. It will make you look dishonest or disinterest. The second one is use your eye contact. Pay attention to your audience and engage to the situation. Please remember, do not stare at one person too long, several seconds at a time. The Third one is use your positive hand gesture, like open gesture. I bet you know this gesture a lot. Just spread your hands apart in front of you, just like Steve Jobs does. Please remember, put your palms up and open. The signal is honest and dormant. The next one is do not touch your face. 
it will let people not focus on your speech. The people who touch the hair or nose, the sight can be like dishonest. The last one, but not the least one, is use your facial expression, especially in virtual meeting. As we know, it's harder to use posture or gesture in virtual meeting than use your facial expression. Maintain a slight smile, avoid the frowning. Frowning means disapproval or displeasure. Here is the tip of today. The take away message for this speech is we know learning and use the body language can enhance our body language, can enhance our communication ability significantly. So let us practice use more body language in our speech to become a better speaker. Thank you. Nice. Back to you, Toastmaster.